These factors help to naturally increase my growth hormone levels about 20 to 30% higher than the average male. And even almost a year later, I can replicate and improve upon those results. No steroids, no wild crazy supplements or testosterone boosters. What is going on world? I am the Hungarian experiment. It's a beautiful day in London. We're getting a nice little snowfall here. So I wanted to do this video outside today. Don't know how many more opportunities I'm gonna get with a beautiful snowy day in London, Ontario. So let's just get into the video here. Today, I want to not only discuss how I believe we are all able to naturally raise our growth hormone levels just through our daily life factors, but I will also display legitimate, replicated, scientific, proven results that shows that I can do this on my body. I can sustain such a high testosterone level year round that I am walking around with 20 to 30% more natural growth hormone and testosterone than the average male. My goal is to keep this video short and sweet, so if you are interested in more information regarding my growth growth hormone tests, why I am doing this, and what my YouTube and life journey is all about, then I really suggest checking out the videos in the description box below and subscribing to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. But basically, last year through my YouTube channel and social media, I managed to crowdfund enough money to be able to test my base growth hormone output. This is something I really wanted to experiment and test out on my own body for a very long time. And now that I see the results and how certain factors negatively affect those results, I believe this is going to be a very critical and important part of my journey. So let's dive into it here. April of 2016, I took myself and my YouTube channel through what I called the perfect month. Basically over April there, I stopped on my little side experiments I had going on and I tried to optimize the factors in my life that I believe help to naturally raise our growth hormone levels. Things like sleep, food and nutrition, intermittent fasting, lifting and physical activity, etc. Again, that video is in the description box below, so if you really want to see how I structured and live my life, it's all documented there for you. Following this perfect month of hormone optimization, I did three separate urine growth hormone collections a week apart from each other in May. The first two tests, I attempted to keep my life factors very strict and I didn't change much at all. I even had a specific set of standards that I followed 24 hours prior to each test. And these are actually the standards I plan on following for all future growth hormone collections that don't require any uh, factor manipulation to try to prove something. From these first two tests, you can see that my natural base growth hormone output is quite high compared to the average male. Naturally, I have 20 to 30% higher growth hormone levels than most men in the world. This was very interesting to me because I was hoping for high results, but I really didn't think I would get two tests back to back within a week of each other, showing basically the exact same results. Now, if you don't fully understand what growth hormone is and how it works in the body, I really suggest doing your own research on it. There is a lot to know and understand, but basically, when you hear of people or men taking steroids, generally they are injecting themselves with HGH, or human growth hormone. Growth hormone isn't testosterone, but your testosterone output is directly correlated to your growth hormone output. So basically, the higher your growth hormone levels, the more testosterone your body's gonna produce. Now, I went into detail about this in a video below, but for my third test over May, I decided to just manipulate a lot of factors in my life. I wanted to see if this would have any results in my growth hormone output. I changed my nutrition, I had dairy and alcohol over the weekend before the test, I stopped intermittent fasting, I had poor sleep and a whole lot more. Well, after I collected my third urine sample, only a week apart and received the results, I was actually quite shocked at how big of a drop there was in my growth hormone levels. So this goes to show me that the factors in our lives significantly affect our growth hormone levels. I mean, if I was able to drop a about 63% growth hormone in just one week from changing my life factors around a little bit, then what factors really had an effect? Was it the alcohol? Was it the lack of sleep? Was it the exercise? Was it the lack of intermittent fasting? That's not what this video is about and I will be going into detail about my future plans for testing my growth hormone levels and how I want to push different life factors to the test in another video. But this is why we really need funding and to continue these growth hormone experiments to find out what is really affecting our hormone levels. Now don't get me wrong here, 
not everything is dictated around hormones. Having a high hormone output doesn't mean your organs aren't going to shut down from continued use of a certain substance. As I displayed in those videos, I was still able to smoke marijuana every single day of the perfect month and even the days before taking my urine collection and I still had a high growth hormone output. I had cheat days following my urine collection tests and I was still able to balance back my growth hormone within just six days if cheat days really even affect our growth hormone at all, which I believe they do. But what I am trying to prove and show is that if you want the highest advantage in the gym as a natural lifter, then you need to be trying to naturally raise your growth hormone as much as possible. This is going to increase your testosterone naturally, which will help you put on more muscle and I believe I proved this on my own body. I proved this through the muscle I've gained over the last few years along with the scientific proven results of my growth hormone tests. Now, as I mentioned there, I will be going into detail about this in my next video. So make sure you guys are subscribed because in that one, I will really need your feedback and your input. You guys are funding these experiments. Right now, we are showing the world that the public is starting to fund scientific research and experiments. And in my opinion, the public should be behind them. The public should be discussing these variables and how people like myself who will become human experiments should be carrying out these tests on their own bodies and the factors in their lives in order to be as clear and as concise as possible. So once again, make sure you keep an eye out for that video because I will be going into deep detail about my different ideas and plans for the future in terms of testing my growth hormone levels. But let's keep going here. So let's fast forward to the beginning of January 2017 or just a couple months back now. This this is basically almost a year after the first batch of growth hormone tests and thanks to your amazing support, I received more funding to continue my growth hormone experiments. Two and a half weeks of hormone optimization after indulging and enjoying myself over the winter holidays, I decided to test and experiment around to see if I could limit my factors as much as possible to prove that alcohol negatively affects our growth hormone output. Now the results are in for this, but again, I don't want to make this video too long for you guys, but there was a significant drop in my growth hormone levels after only about two days just from drinking alcohol. I believe we can draw some serious conclusions from this and I'd love to do more testing and dive even more into this. So if you guys are interested, again, keep an eye out for that video because those results are going to be out in the next day or two. So if you're interested in seeing the results of the alcohol experiments, make sure you're subscribed and following along my journey. Now, to be completely honest with you guys, I thought that the results from this baseline reading were going to be significantly lower than last year's, at least like 10 to 15%. I mentioned this in my video that I made uh, of the three days prior to the urine collection, but I thought from the stress and the things that were going on in my life the week prior to doing this urine collection, along with not getting any natural vitamin D from the sun and sunbathing almost on a daily basis, I thought this would have hindered my results. I expected to be in the low 80s. I 100% did not expect to see that I was able to actually improve upon my results and actually see a 200 to 400 PG slash GCR increase and boosting myself from 94% to 95%. This tells me that I'm doing things correctly in my day to day life. This means that the factors I choose to implement into my life on a daily basis actually have an effect on my body. These factors help to naturally increase my growth hormone levels about 20 to 30% higher than the average male. And even almost a year later, I can replicate and improve upon those results. No steroids, no wild crazy supplements or testosterone boosters. Just eating natural, whole foods combined with regular daily fasting and stressing my body through my physical exercise in the gym, all while trying to get a solid amount of sleep and periodic sauna use. My goal was to prove that our life factors help to naturally increase our growth hormone and our testosterone levels and I believe I've done this while openly documenting and displaying these factors to the world. This is what I want to do with my life. I am the Hungarian experiment. I want to become a human lab rat, a human experiment for the world. I want you guys to be able to have a great understanding of how I live my life and the factors I choose to implement into my life and how it's affecting me and my body. I I then want to manipulate these factors to test and see what actually hinders or boosts our growth hormone levels the most. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope my journey here through life, my growth hormone testing journey, my YouTube journey, documenting all my life factors has some sort of weight in the world. 
Personally, I believe that I can prove some stuff here. Obviously, we would need to see this replicated and done on multiple, multiple different human experiments out there in the world and to see how it affects different people with different life situations and different life factors. To be honest, these are questions that I've been asking for my whole life and thanks to you guys, thanks to everyone out there who donated to my growth hormone testing journey, I was actually able to test this and prove these results on my own body. So thank you guys so much. You guys are absolutely amazing and you guys are helping me to become the man I always aspired to be. But I want to keep this going. I want to keep proving stuff for you. I want to become a human life experiment. I want to become a human lab rat. So if you guys are interested, you want to see these growth hormone tests keep going, you want to help fund my journey, you want to put scientific research into the hands of the public, then let's get this going. We can do this, I know we can world. If you guys are interested, check out the GoFundMe in the description box below. All the information is there, it's really easy to donate. Even five to ten dollars is going to seriously help continue this growth hormone testing journey and to keep this thing going. So if you have the means and you wanna to donate to my journey, I would really appreciate that. The link is in the description box below and I will love you forever. Thank you guys so much for following along my journey. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed these results on how I believe we are all able to naturally increase our growth hormone levels just through our daily life factors. So make sure you go hit that like button and of course leave me a comment. I am the Hungarian experiment.